I'm Renoir Domiati. I'm an infectious disease physician who is the epidemiologist for Monroe County Department of Public Health, and I also work at the Center for Community Health, which is part of the University of Rochester. This study was done in Monroe County, and it included any patient, outpatient or inpatient, who reside in Monroe County. Um, so it included all the hospital, but also all the community uh, patient that develop um, this disease, which is uh, methicillin resistant staph aureus. Uh, this study is done in conjunction with the CDC, the Center for Disease Control Emerging Infection Program. And uh, this program fo focuses on many uh, vaccine related infection, but also emerging infection that are of public health importance. Uh, we started surveillance for methicillin resistant staph aureus in 2004 and the uh, surveillance continues. The surveillance when it started in 2004 the, was to focus on community acquired infection but what the surveillance showed is that the biggest burden of uh, MRSA infection were really in healthcare either in the hospital in long-term care or people who have been recently discharged from the hospital and the percentage due to the community was was minor and that's why the focus shifted to um, the healthcare acquired infection. It's a great news because everyone uh, is very worried about uh, getting immersive infection when they can come into the hospital. And this shows that potentially all the hard work and the intervention are leading to a decrease in, uh, in infection over several years. So what is leading to the decrease in the overall um, severe MRSA or what we call invasive MRSA infection is the, it's hard to know for sure, but there have been a lot of intervention at the hospital level to try to decrease hospital acquired infection, which includes um, the insertion bundle, um, which have led to a major, a significant decrease in the number of central line infections in the ICU. And I think secondarily, this led to the decrease of uh, MRSA invasive infection. Um, of note, most of those severe infection have bacteremia, and a high number also the infection was due to a central line. So by intervening and preventing all central line infection, uh, there is a decrease in the MRSA infections. There is also other intervention that have taken place over the past several years at the hospital, mostly in the ICUs, but some hospital is hospital-wide where they screen people for colonization for M MRSA. Some people receive uh, intranasal mupirocin to try to decolonize them, specifically before surgery and cardiac surgery. Um, so it's, there's many interventions that have been, uh, that has, have taken place and it's very hard to know which one really have made the big difference. It's probably a combination of everything. 